You guys want to know where my obsession problem began? Like when it actually started? Picture an eight-year-old Angela. This is where it started. <laughs> The, customer. the customers were standing in front of this store at 7 o'clock this morning. The store didn't open until 9, and only a few Cabbage Patch dolls were going on sale. Once the coupons were given out to those few parents who would be allowed to buy a doll, the word was given out that the dolls would be given out behind the store, out back at the freight entrance. And then the race was on. Otherwise dignified, calm, mannerly parents broke into a sprint. Well, I, t I had to take what they gave me, and they gave me a boy, and I wanted a girl. I, this is my second trip around. My husband works here, and I can't even get what I want. I miss work. I'm late for work to get this for my little girl. I'm not going to tell my boss. I'm trying to get there now. <laughs> I'm so excited. We waited here since 7.30, and I was just ecstatic. In fact, I ran around and got another ticket. And within a matter of minutes, it was over. You did not get a Cabbage Patch doll this morning. No, I did not. How badly do you want one? Very, very badly. One woman told us she's going to call her sisters in Nebraska and Illinois to see if they can get her a doll. If not, she's going to drive to Pennsylvania. What is it, two hours to go to Pennsylvania? I think it's worth going there. If what? not, I'll try California. I have a niece that lives in California. <laughs> I'll go all over. Things have reached such a point that this store in Clifton, New Jersey, has set up a Cabbage Patch trading post. They decided it doesn't matter much that the doll retails for $21 if you can't buy one. So they'll pay you $40 for any Cabbage Patch doll you bring in, and then they'll turn around and sell it for $50. You just spent $50 for a doll that cost $20. True. Should have cost $20. Should have cost $20, right? Why? Because by the time I go looking in the stores, it'll cost me $30 in gas and aggravation. This is what all the fuss is about. Why are full-grown adults fighting over these? Well. Here's one reason. I want to get it. Josh Howell, Channel 7, Eyewitness News. Okay, oh, yeah. whoa, 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 whoa. Yeah, let's let's look at it. Do you want to take, can we take it out? Pardon me? Can she take it out and look at it? Uh, yeah. No. So the year was 1983, possibly 1982, but I'm guessing it was 1983. And picture little Angela with her blonde, bouncing hair and all of her friends had Cabbage Patch Kids. Well, most of them did. I think there was one of my friends who wasn't into Cabbage Patch Kids at all, but everyone had Cabbage Patch Kid except for me. And my aunt felt so bad that she actually made some dolls that kind of resembled Cabbage Patch Kids, but they weren't. And I was literally obsessed with these dolls. So. At the time, my mom worked at the hospital and she knew one of her friends who was a nurse and they were actually going to Minnesota to try to get their hands on some Cabbage Patch Kids. And my mom's like, please, you know, try to grab one for my daughter, Angela. She really wants one. So her friend went all the way to Minnesota and I specifically wanted a blonde hair, piggy tailed, green-eyed Cabbage Patch doll and I knew I probably wasn't going to get that because it was so rare but in my little heart of hearts I thought you know someone someone's gonna answer my prayers I, I literally prayed every night to Jesus up above and I thought no it's going to happen it's going to happen so it was around my birthday time and I remember my best friend was sitting next to me in the back seat and she already had her Cabbage Patch Kid and this is the one that I had wanted, the exact one. It had blonde uh, pigtails and really, really beautiful. I think hers had had blue eyes, but I wanted one that had green eyes because I have like a hazily green, blue moment of an eye. And I just wanted the doll to kind of resemble me. So she had the one with the blue eyes. I wanted the one with the green eyes. And I remember specifically, she was sitting in the back seat with me. She had her doll on her lap because 
they would bring the dolls to school and stuff like that. I don't know. It was just a thing. And my mom wanted to gift me this doll in front of my friend because, you know, she was just so proud of this moment. And so she had the doll um, gift wrapped and the boxes were, you know, quite huge. And I specifically remember being so, so excited that she actually got me a, a real Cabbage Patch Kid. You know, back in the day, I think they were like 20 or 30 bucks, which was a big deal uh, to spend that amount of money on a doll. So I proceeded to open up my very first Cabbage Patch Kid and to my disappointment, I hate to say this because the hype was just, it was there, to my disappointment, my doll had this light sandy brown hair. It was like a dishwash, like kind of poo poo brown hair. And she did have green eyes and her skin was a little tan. And I remember the sinking feeling as I saw in the window of my box, this is not what I wanted. I was such an ungrateful little brat because my mom went through all of these hoops to try to get me this Cabbage Patch Kid. And I was just so disappointed. So years went on. I never, I don't think, got my blonde hair, piggy tail Cabbage Patch Kid, but I think I had a total of like 30 Cabbage Patch Kids and I am not lying. I had the Cabbage Patch Kids. I had the Kuskas or whatever they were called, um, which is like the Cabbage Patch Kid uh, like animal. I had the twins. I had the clown one. I had the destination Cabbage Patch Kids. I had so many Cabbage Patch Kids. It was absolutely ridiculous. And of course, I played with them constantly. My friend even brought hers to church with her, but my parents wouldn't let me do that. And I think my dad threw them all away, you know, when I was older and wasn't really into them. And I am just wishing that I had kept them because, oh my gosh, that would be so iconic. But anyway, so fast forward to me being almost 50. I was scrolling through the Facebook. Usually this shit happens at the Facebook. I was scrolling through the Facebook and all of a sudden, lo and behold, I see a group of about 50 year old women and they literally restore Cabbage Patch Kids that have, you know, marks on their face or, you know, they sew them new clothes, whatever. They make them look authentic and beautiful. And you guys, I saw this Cabbage Patch Kid on, like, I immediately joined, by the way. I immediately joined the group. And I saw this Cabbage Patch Kid and she had blonde hair. And I believe she had green eyes, but I can't quite remember. They may be blue. And I was like, oh my God, that is the doll that I wanted when I was eight or nine years old. Like, this is her. I have to have it. My mind literally just, I don't know where she went, but I literally had to have this doll. So, I got the doll. I got the doll. I got the Cabbage Patch Kid doll. She's perfect. She's even in purple, my favorite color. So anyway, you guys, I bought the doll. I believe she was only like $20 with shipping. So like 27 bucks, not bad at all. And she's wearing a mushroom dress and she has beautiful, gorgeous purple bows in her hair and she has no marks on her face. And I was just like, oh my God. So there was this other woman that I spoke with, not the, not the owner of this one, but there was this other woman that I spoke with um, and she was trying to help me find my original Cabbage Patch Kid that I had, that I was so disappointed at my mom for getting me. I was such a brat. Anyway, and I found out that her head mold is number three and that she's kind of rare, but not really rare. But this woman, I believe she's from Minnesota, decided to, she said she's going to go down in her basement and look and see because this is what she does. She restores Cabbage Patch Kids and um, she's going to look to see if she has that exact one. You guys, lo and behold, a few days later, she messages me and she's like, Angela, you're not going to believe this. 
I have your doll and she's in mint condition. It's just that she has no clothes. And she's like, what do you want her to wear? I, I sew outfits. I'm going to make you whatever you want. And I'm like, put her in green because her eyes are green. She sewed an outfit for her. And you guys, I shit you not, she is coming. My obsessions are just like rolling in my head. I've gone batshit fucking crazy. This is it. This is it. It, it had sparked something in me and I'm like, oh shit, now what did I get myself into? But you guys don't understand, back in the day, it was like kill for these dolls. Like women were like getting into fist fights at malls. The only real place I think that you could get them was like at um, Macy's type of situation or um, I don't know if they had JCPenney back in the day, but it was like, you know, like a department store like that. Or... If you were lucky, you could find them at Toys R Us. That was it. That was it. You could, and, and they would get their shipment in. They would get maybe like $50 or whatever, put them on the shelf, and they would be gone. Or you'd have to go into the back of the store. It was like this whole big thing, and it was crazy. And my mom and I literally had so much fun trying to like find the next Cabbage Patch Kid. Where is it going to be? I just remember like the big clunky boxes. I remember the gift certificates and everything. So if you guys had a Cabbage Patch Kid growing up and if you're around my age or whatever, leave a comment down below. Let me know. I just remember that my sandy haired girl, her name was Alana Lynn. And I'm going to get her. So when I do get her, I will uh, do another video and I'll show you guys my little collection of the Cabbage Patch Kid moments. And then I will present to you Alana Lynn. Also, name the other one that I just showed you. Um, I think she looks like a Callie. Doesn't she look like a Callie? Maybe Callie Lynn because I'm Angela Lynn. So maybe Callie Lynn. I don't know. I've, I've literally... I'm off my rocker. Send help immediately. <laughs> Leave a comment down below. Bye, guys.